Well, Brent, state leaders are calling this announcement severely disappointing. Yesterday's decision means the company will lose out on $50 million in new tax incentives from the state. But lawmakers tell me they're still optimistic about Sikorsky's future here in Connecticut. We really wanted that contract and it was an important contract, but that doesn't change the fact that Sikorsky is still a really, really important company here in the state. Sikorsky, owned by Lockheed Martin, faced off against Texas-based Bell in hopes of winning a $1.3 billion Army contract. The goal, manufacture a new aircraft to replace the Army's fleet of Black Hawk helicopters, which Sikorsky has been making for about 40 years. The Army knows Sikorsky is, uh, you know, the best in the business. But the Stratford-based company lost out, the Army announcing Monday in a statement calling the decision-making process deliberate and disciplined. But Connecticut lawmakers aren't happy. It's disappointing because we know what that contract would have meant. I think they, they picked an inferior product. Earlier this year, the state legislature approved $75 million in tax credits and incentives for Sikorsky, $50 million of that contingent on the manufacturer winning this contract. No, you do not get credit for the um, for this phase of the project. They didn't win it. But it's not a total grounding for one of the state's largest employers. Legislators say the state will continue its relationship with Sikorsky and look at options to further the partnership in the upcoming legislative session. They made it very clear they love Connecticut. They want to stay here. They want to grow in Connecticut. And I don't think this contract will change that. What we want to do is continue to have bipartisan dialogue between ourselves and the administration to make sure that we work together to keep good paying jobs in the state of Connecticut. I'm told there's another contract Sikorsky is still in the running for, and state leaders say the company isn't leaving Connecticut or laying off employees anytime soon. Sikorsky also has the option to challenge this award. A spokesperson told me they weren't doing any interviews, but will evaluate next steps after reviewing feedback from the Army. Brent.